Hey guys, um, recently I've been doing a lot of hamster videos, so, and I've been doing a lot of videos at a time, like, I do like four or three videos a day, that started since like yesterday or the day before that, and that started because I got my hamster, and also because it's Christmas, um, break, or what do you call it, yeah, it's Christmas. Um, and on weekends, I'm always allowed, on like the days off, uh, on the day off, I'm allowed to have my tablet. And that's how I really usually feel. Yeah. So, yeah. That's how I do it. And since I'm going to have long days off, I get to make a lot more videos sooner. So, yeah. Let's get on to the video. It's Christmas. get you out of there somehow. I don't know how, somehow though. Uh, don't. Let's not talk about that. So, this is my awesome hamster, Ginger. You should watch all my other videos of hamster. The first video of my hamster that says, my hamster. Da, da. So, today I will talk about the difference of teddy bear hamsters, dwarf hamsters, and, or no, just Syrian dwarf, Syrian and dwarf hamsters. So, yeah, let's get started. So, a Syrian hamster is basically the size of a teddy bear hamster, which I have a teddy bear hamster, so. This is like the cup of travelism, sort of, thing for this guy. Yeah. So let's talk about the size. Let me get you out of there somehow. Whoa. Like, you're messy. So, a, um, size of a Syrian hamster and teddy bear hamster and stuff like that. Their size is normally the size of... A little bigger than a kid's hand, like bigger than mine, because they grow and stuff. So I have to usually put two hands. I can't keep it on one at a time, because like that is big. But a dwarf hamster would be basically half the size of Syrian and teddy bear hamsters. That's just very small. Dwarf hamsters are much more hyper than. Syrian hamsters, but each Syrian hamster and hamsters have their own personalities. So there are dwarf hamsters that are very calm, maybe even calmer than other Syrian hamsters. So, yep. This guy's kind of calm. It's still a baby, but you're kind of calm, aren't you? Okay, now let's put you back. Whoa. Um, so, as I said, they're more hyper, and, um, yeah, so, uh, the tail of a dwarf hamster is much more long than Syrian hamsters, and their dwarf hamsters are closer to rats and mice than like normal hamsters, like Syrian hamsters. So they do have a difference. And every single hamster, no matter any kind, every breed, dwarf hamster, Russian hamster, Chinese hamster, uh, teddy bear hamster, Syrian hamster, all hamsters are nocturnal animals. And if you don't know what nocturnal animal means, it means that they sleep all night. I mean, opposite. They sleep all day and they're awake 
all night. So, if you're a person who really loves playing with your pet, it's the perfect, like, it's not a animal that you would probably like, because you like to play with your pet, but they sleep all day, and if you're someone who sleeps all night, like, oh my god, there's nothing that can wake you up, then a hamster is probably the worst pet for you. I'm not trying to be mean, but if you still love it, get it. It's your choice. So, obviously, the um, hamsters, not all hamsters have the t same taste of mind. Most some of them bite, some of them are more wild, some of them are very quiet, some of them have smaller lives. Um, obviously, dwarf hamsters, they're not the con like the calm kind, so you can't snuggle with it like guinea pigs and other hamsters you might be able to do with. And <clears throat> they don't really like it much when you hold it in your hand. They just like to run all around the cage and you need to have a lot of sh bedding or shaving for them because they like go under and then they just go all over the place so yep that's basically it and thank you for the difference if i forgot anything about them to say tell me in the comment section and i say don't get the food because i just I just bought this kind of food, and now I know that it doesn't like it, so let me tell you guys. Don't buy the food that says, <clears throat> Camster and Gerbil Ham, um, Gerbil, like, food, because this kind, the uh, Hampshire and Gerbil food, um, fresh premium, premium quality ingredients, don't get that kind, because... Usually some hamsters, like, oh, sorry. Usually some hamsters, they're picky. And if you have, like, a bunch of foods all mixed up, they eat just some certain, certain foods. And if you give them other one, they won't eat it. So then you have to put a, all the other ones in the garbage because they won't eat it, and it's kind of a waste of money. So my parents says if you get them veggies, because... Mine really likes carrots, um, other veggies, and like leaves, leaves, um, and fresh food with the corn, corn and sunflower seeds. Those are the favorites of my hamster, like the absolutely favorite. So that is the end of uh, end of my video. Video. So thank you guys for watching. Um. I want to say a outro with my hamster, but apparently he completely hided under the shaving, and I can't find him. Oh, gotcha! You're not a good hider, are you? Going under the wheel, seriously, best you could do? I'll be back when I get him. Yeah. This is the first time I saw my hamster do this. He put his shavings in his mouth instead of food. That's just weird, and I just got him, so. That's just weird. And then he just, like, see his mouth is, like, bigger, sort of. Size. Um, and then he just went all under all the shavings, like dwarf hamsters, and just runs all around. Are you stressed? Nothing bad's happening. So, see you guys next time. Bye!